understand. They got to leave. They got to leave their cars here. You go up, leave your cars, and walk. It was the worst urban wildfire in American history that hot, windy week in October of 1991. I don't know. Jesus Christ. 25 people lost their lives, and more than 3,000 homes turned to cinders, despite well over 1,000 firefighters from all over California trying to stop the incineration for almost a week, night, and day. My God, I've never seen anything like that! Oh. And if not for a helpful change in the weather, it could have been much, much worse. The East Bay Hills fire was actually a watershed event for the state and for emergency managers and fire agencies. Kelly Houston is a spokesperson for the California Emergency Management Agency. This Hollywood set like emergency dispatch headquarters outside of Sacramento was built after the firestorm. When that fire erupted, they were already behind the ball. They were already trying to battle with high winds and a fire that was spreading very quickly. Add to that fire companies from around the region that were showing up that weren't able to get water. There wasn't an adequate system of communication for them to talk with each other. Today, there are dedicated emergency communication frequencies for all emergency workers. There are new systems designed to ensure sufficient water pressure in all hydrants. And there was one other significant problem 20 years ago. Not all the fire departments had the same size connectors for hoses and hydrants. At the time, national standard uh, thread was uh, two and a half inch. But uh, two cities in the Bay Area that were unique were Oakland and San Francisco, which had three inch outlets. Oakland Battalion Chief James Williams was a rookie fireman on the fire line 20 years ago. Shortly after the fire again, uh, we retrofitted all of the hydrants in Oakland, uh, and they now have two and a half inch hydrants. San Francisco simply bought adapters, and some Oakland residents say their city has also taken some shortcuts, ones that remain dangerous. 15 years, the Oakland Park District has been trying to work on a plan to do major hazardous brush mitigation. Eucalyptus is going to enemy number one along with scotch broom and French broom. Sean Walsh is on the Wildfire Prevention District Citizens Committee. 15 years they've been trying to take those trees out and we are still stuck not removing them. Walsh and others say a small band of reactionary critics is holding up the removal of the non-native fire dangers because they declare it ecologically incorrect. In fact, there is a lawsuit over the matter, and the Sierra Club has weighed in in support of removing the trees and brush. Walsh says there are other problems not yet addressed. The roads are dreadful. They didn't widen the roads when they could have and they should have. The roads, quite candidly, aren't managed, so they're actually crumbling. There are tremendous potholes in the hills. People worry that one car gets stuck, like on Charing Cross. Every other car is stuck. The wildfire sweeps over and you lose lives. In the end, the last fire, Walsh points out, will probably not be the last fire. Macro, there's been a lot of progress since the last Oakland Hills fire, but, you know, sports fans, we had it in 23, we had it in 70, we had it 20 years ago, and we're going to have it again. Mike Meebach, KTVU, Channel 2 News.